Hi everyone! Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we will be talking about Starcoin Strike and also I think I'm gonna sell some horses. So yeah, before we get into it, make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, like the video, and also comment. If you watch my documentary, then you have an idea of what I'm talking about. So getting right into it, Starcoin Strike. When you give lots of money to Star Stable, apparently it's going to shareholders. And I know that's how businesses work, but I feel like Star Stable should put their focus back on the players rather than profit because we're not getting what we want. They take away the holidays. They take away all the fun things. You read the Glassdoor reviews. The employees even say the management is not good. If they won't take their employees seriously, how could they take the players seriously, you know? So it's sad, and I just don't want to give more money to the company if it's going to be this way. So so I'm not going to be buying more star coins for a while until I feel like there's been some improvements in the game. And if you want to go on star coin strike, you could do that too. And I think we should, like, start telling Star Stable that too. I know some people are getting banned for even giving feedback, but... You could even tell them on like Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, I'm pretty sure, how you feel. You could comment and even say, like, I'm not buying any more Star Coins or Star Rider until you get your act together. Until you listen to your players more. You know, because like, all I hear is complaints. The horses don't look the way they should. And we're not getting enough content. It's just not right. So I'm not buying Star Coins for a while. Will I do horse shopping sprees with the Star Coins I do have? Yeah. Will I still buy horses with the Star Coins I have saved? Yeah, of course. Like, I'm still going to do that. But I just don't want to put more money into the game. And if you saw my how much money I spent on Star Stable so far video, then you would know that I probably should calm down anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess I'll sell some horses because... A lot of the horses I have are bugged, and there's no point in keeping them because I know for a fact Star Stable will not fix them because they've been bugged for over a year. Um, that's plenty of time to resolve a bug, so if they're not going to do it within a year, there's no point in keeping certain horses. They don't care. Because if they did care, they would have had it done already. You know what I mean? So, that's just my opinion as a player, but yeah. I don't know who else. <laughs> what if I just sold my starter horse? I can't, but if I could, I would. I honestly regret getting the Christmas horse. I feel like that was a cash grab, and I fell for it. Oh, I gotta get rid of this one. I don't know. Should I? I'm trying to- I'm still trying to think. Oh, no. It's hard, because I have, like- I've had these horses for so long that it's, like, how to get rid of them, because I have, like, um- like a sentimental connection to them but I don't know it's just stuff's been whack in the game recently I guess these ones yeah okay these ones are hard to get rid of because I this is the third horse I ever bought in the game I got it early 2017 this one is bro like these horses are so old and I love them so much it's just that there's no point in keeping them because like you have them for so long, the game updates, but the horses don't update. Like, yeah, we do get updates of, like, the Icelandic horses or the paint horses, but if it was a real update, then the model would have updated, but instead you actually have to go buy a new model. So it's not an update at all. It's not, because if it was a real update, we could update our horses, but we can't. Instead, we have old horses laying in our stables that we can't even use because a lot of the new tack doesn't even go on them. And plus, they're really glitchy. Like, anyway, I guess let's, like, uh, let's sell this one. It's so sad because you spend money on these horses and, like, it's so fun to, like, have the experience of having them in the game and... I don't know. It's just so dumb how this game functions. Like, you think they would update the horse for you. Like, okay, we're trying to update the game. What is the point of keeping the old horses in the game if you're not gonna... You know what I mean? I have to buy something now. But again, what's the point of keeping the old horses in the game if you're not gonna really be able to use them properly? Like, it's not fair. And the prices of clothes are, like, so expensive for no reason. Like, why is the game like this? And I know people could be like, oh, you're making a fuss over nothing, because I've been told that before. 
you have to open your eyes at some point. Like, you have to see how bad the game is getting. You know what I mean? Like, the bugs, the glitches, the hacking, the problems, the no content. Like, there's no focus, really. There's no direction. The storyline gets changed. The characters get changed. Nothing makes any sense anymore. It's so sad. Like, you grow up with this game and you think, like, oh, this game is amazing. And it was amazing. And so many people I know of are, like, saying how they fall out of love with the game and how they no longer like it the way they used to and it's no fair and it's like yeah it is no fair because like I feel like a lot of games come to an end but you can't even say that because there's games that are 10 plus years old now who are thriving still so that's why it's no fair how like I don't know the only reason why Star Stable is still going they don't have competition really like there is a few horse games I could think of but it's not really a big deal and that's the problem. Like, I guarantee you if they had competition, they'd be like, Oh my god, we have to start making better stuff for our players because guess what? They're getting bored. And the CEO of Star Stable is like, Star Stable is loaded with content. What content? What content? For who? For the newer players? Yeah, for the newer players. But once you finish the content, what are you going to do after that? Like, I don't like how they act like this game is... They make it seem like it's deeper than it actually is. They act like this game has, like... They act like it's a... <laughs> they act like this game is, like, perfect. Nothing's wrong with it. Everything's fine, guys. We don't have any problems. Like, what? I've never seen a game be, like, so in denial. It's literally so crazy how you could have a, a game more than, like, I think it's about 200 employees, and there's so many issues still. Like, I hate to say it, but I feel like the game had more life in it when it only had, like, nine employees. <laughs> like, how is that even possible? I'm telling you, the original nine employees, they knew it was up. They knew what to do. And there's a lot of people who could be upset at me for making the documentary, but it's like, bro, would you rather I don't say anything? You probably do wish that, but I don't like living in ignorance. Like, if I see something falling apart, I'm going to point it out. And there's people who say, I don't want to know if the game would end. And it's like, okay, then if you don't want to know if the game ends or not, or if it will come to an end, or if it has problems or not, then, then don't watch content that regards that then. Like, if you see... if Listen, <laughs> if you don't want to know the problems in a game, then don't click on videos that make it clear that there's problems in a game. Like, I feel like I'm being an anti-hero in a way because I'm trying to, like, help the game even though I'm talking about it in a negative way, kind of. But it's like, there's no positive way to talk about this game anymore because there just isn't. I hate selling horses. It makes me so sad because I, like, bro, I spent so much money on this game and I love this game and it's just the problems in it are so dumb. Like, it has so much potential. The storyline, the horses, the characters, the features, the holidays, they remove everything, man. Like, literally, how could you remove the Christmas village? Like, we have a village, but it's not Christmassy anymore. And Star Stable, I think, said it was to be more inclusive. How is it more inclusive to remove everything? Listen, why not just keep Christmas, but also include other holidays into the game so everyone gets a part of the holiday? I heard from one of my uh, subscribers that there is files in this game that date back to 2005. It is 2022 right now. And I'm just like, what? I don't mean the game is old, I mean the files are old. Like, you're supposed to update stuff, that's what I mean. They don't update things, they just replace it with other things, and I'm just like, Star Stable. And I've been saying this again, like, they have tech debt that dates back 10 plus years, and they're like, okay, well, we'll resolve it. And they talk about it like, yeah, well, we, we work hard. Like, no, stop updating every week then. Update every few weeks or update every month then because then you wouldn't have so many problems if you focus on the short term how are you going to focus on the on the long term they get game developers that quit they can't keep seniors for the life of them obviously 
And then, like, people will tell me, like, you should just focus on the positives. Bro, again, how are you supposed to focus on the positives if, like, the game is falling apart? And then somebody said how, well, Surf Table don't watch YouTube videos. And, like, yeah, I don't think they do either. But I don't really believe that because I remember there was a girl I used to know who had a Star Stable account and she made YouTube videos about Star Stable and she had about 5,000 subscribers and she made a video about the problems in Star Stable back in 2017. Like she wreaked havoc on so many players by saying how she felt. And back then I was like, how could she say so such negative things? But it's like, she was right all along, and then she deleted her channel because no one agreed with her. No one wanted her to even be on the game. It was terrible, and she got all these bad comments, and it was so sad because she was right, and she tried to warn us, and then she disappeared. I can't even see her Instagram account anymore because, like, she just doesn't want to, like, be in the public view anymore, I guess, and I remember I did message Star Stable one time, and I told them about the video because I wanted to know if they had seen it because maybe the game does have issues. And they said they saw it. I don't have the uh, text message because it happened back in 2017. But still, like, you're telling me they don't see things. Like, I think they do. And guess what? The issues that that girl talked about back in 2017 are still a problem from what I'm seeing. And I think they may have been resolved, but most of the issues I'm pretty sure we still have. Because I remember she was talking about glitches and other problems too, and like, we still have those problems. And even if Star Stable never heard any Star Stable YouTubers talk, wait a minute, how do they never watch YouTube, but they pick out Star Stable ambassadors? They obviously had to see the videos right? And even if they never see the videos, I still would want subscribers to know what's happening. Because, like, why would you want to sit in the dark and be like, everything's okay, nothing's wrong. You can't just avoid stuff. Like, you can if you want to, but a lot of people want to hear the problems and know what's going on so they could be aware. And guess what? Plenty of people have commented telling me how happy they were about the documentary. So you can't even tell me like, oh, no one wanted to see it. No, people do want to see it. They want to know what's going on. This video is kind of like a rant, but I don't know what to tell you. This game is just, it's just whack. It's just really, it's whack. That's all I have to say about that. You know what's also stupid too? There's shops in this game that don't even work. Like, there's shops in the game, you click on them, nothing happens. Like, for example, the shop by the Starbucks Cafe, Stable Bucks Cafe in Yerleheim, literally doesn't work. And if you go to, like, Cape West, there's a bunch of shops everywhere in Yorvik. Fir Grove, Yorvik, you know? But they don't even show up in the global store. Like, they, they have all this, like, effort go into the global store, but yet they can't even make that work. Yeah, it's a global store. Is it? Because the stuff that's found globally across Yorvik isn't even in the global store. I downloaded the old Star Stable games, and to be honest, one of the reasons why I downloaded them is because I'm really, really worried that if Star Stable ends, like, what am I going to play? You know? Like, I do have other games, but it's like, they're not the same. Here's the thing. Star Stable is falling apart, but... That's what I mean. They're falling apart, but they're still the best horse game, because that's how little the competition is. Like, the only reason this game is going is because the competition is lacking. It's so funny. I think Stacy from Star Stable even said, like, there should be more horse games. Like, no! You don't want more horse games, because if there's more horse games, what are you gonna do? Everyone's gonna leave your game. Like, there's five different horse games coming out this year. Five. Maybe even six or seven, actually. Like, when those games come out, what are you gonna do? It's just upsetting, and people tell me, like, you must hate Star Stable to make videos like this, and it's like, no, I love the game, that's why I'm talking about it, because I don't want to sit here and act like everything's fine. Like, I'm not like that. Like, all my life I've been told, oh, be silent, be silent, and it's like, no. When you stay silent, things get worse. I've learned that from personal experience. 
some things you just can't fix, obviously. But it's so weird to be like, nothing's wrong. Like, what do you mean? And I thought maybe I just missed Old Star Stable because of the nostalgia. And then I made a video about all the reasons why I miss Old Star Stable. And it's like, it wasn't the nostalgia. It's literally because of how the game used to be. Like, it was just better back then. And the prices, man. Like, what even is this? Like, 9999 for a saddlebag? Do you see the price on that? 165 star coins. This stuff is so stupid. Like, it's just frustrating because I really believed in this game. And now it's, like, falling apart. And now I'm angry. And people get angry at me for being upset. And it's like, well, how could you not be upset? Like, whether you spent money into this game or not, like, you can't act like it's all fine and dandy when it's not fine and dandy at all. Everything's falling apart. This game is literally falling apart. I fall through the floor constantly. And I kind of think about it, like, what's the point of me even shopping anymore, like, for horses or for clothes in the game? Because, like, if the game's gonna end in a matter of time, and we don't know for sure, but it's, like how could it keep going, you know, like this? And it's like, what's the point of me even shopping? Or what's the point of me doing fun things like clothing sprees? Because yeah, I'll buy the stuff, but like, if the game ends, the horses and the clothes go with it. And it's no fair. It's just so stupid. They don't listen. Like, how could you not fucking listen to your players? Like, you literally have this game and you don't want to even like listen to your players like i don't know how you could do that and just act like everything's okay it's so stupid like i've never seen a company be so ignorant i'm sure i have before but when it comes to like gaming companies usually people are like excited you know to like listen to the fans and do stuff the fans want to do. It's no fair, and that's why I get upset, because every other game I could think of, if a player gives an idea, the game is like, oh, cool, thank you, we'll do that. Good idea. And then Star Table has the audacity to lie. Like, they always told us how there's a quest team, and then they make an article, or it was an interview or something, and somebody literally said, like, oh, we don't have a dedicated quest team basically saying how they just use whoever's available. And I'm like, so you lied? So who's the quest team? And people for so long were saying, well, there's a horse team and there's a quest team, so the horses, we get more of those because the quest team has to put in more work. And I'm just like, okay, well, stop defending Star Stable because guess what? They lied to you. They don't have a quest team. And I think they tried to cover it up later and say how, oh, actually, they do have, they do, uh, like, have teams or whatever. And it's like, bro, someone spilled the beans and you can't even cover that up. I don't even want to sell him. He's so pretty. This is no fair. I don't know. I want to do, like, short films, but it's, that's nothing, too. You can't even do a short film and include old horses in it because you can't. Like, there's no point because... The old horses don't even match the surroundings. Like, what was the point of keeping the old horses in the game? It's just like, this video is such a podcast. Recently, somebody commented on my video. And they were like, I'm so happy that you posted this because it helped me get through an hour of training. And you should never have to feel upset about the things you say in your videos. Like, it's your channel. Do what you want. And, like, thank you so much for saying that. Because, like, I think it's so stupid when people, like, act like... They have the right to tell me what to do. Like, bro, if you don't want to watch it, then don't watch the channel. <laughs> like, I feel like that's, like, common sense. Like, if you don't like certain videos, then don't watch them. Like, I would never click on someone's video, see the title, see the thumbnail, say, oh, I don't like that, and then click on it. That doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you click on it? Like, for example, people be clicking on my critique of Star Stable type of videos, like the documentary and the trailer, and they see the thumbnail, they see the title, they don't like it, they watch it, and then say, I don't like this, because I don't like any of these types of topics. Well, then why'd you watch it then? I have like a hundred other videos on my channel, and that's the one you decided to click on. 
even though you don't like it. <laughs> like, bro, don't make any sense. I feel bad for selling horses now because maybe I could have made a really good documentary. I guess I could get rid of Ginger. It's just hard to because of the memories. But if I was to get rid of more horses, I would get rid of... I'd get rid of Dudusk, yeah. It's hard to say I would. But at the same time... She's so glitched. Like, look at my poor horse. I loved her so much. And now, like, when she turns her head, her eye don't even open. Look at that. Her eye don't even work anymore. It's so sad. Here's the thing. If Star Stable fixed this and then said, oh, it's Gen 3 now, I would believe them. This looks like a Gen 3 horse. I feel like the shading and the way the face is built, everything about this horse is perfect. That's what I mean, like... Are the files that old they can't even, like, update the file? Is that why they make new files of new horses? Because if they want it to, say, pay a few extra hundred star coins to update it, they could, but they don't. Because I think they just can't do it. Because they don't have the technology to. Maybe they do have the technology to, but it seems like they don't. And it's, like, so sad. It's no fair. I love my horses, and it's, like... Really? No fair, man. No fair. I guess I'll sell Dudusk. I guess I will. I don't want to. I don't want to, but it's like, there's no point. Like, it's just so... I can't even make a documentary or, like, a short film saying, like, the end of my old horses because a lot of times I'll get new horses and I'll replace them with the... Like, I'll get... Like, if I have an old horse, I'll replace it with a new horse. So, for example, my old white... Lipizaner horse. I got the new white Frisian. White gray Frisian, gray Frisian, whatever. And I just say that this is Dudesk now. And I think I think this model fits her better too. And then I got Ginger updated like this. And instead of an old Jorvik Wild, he's a Percheron. And then Raven the Pony is... That's not Raven. Where's Raven at? Raven is somewhere in this stable. But we have Goliath. Goliath is now a black Frisian horse. I pretend that he's not a Frisian though because that's not what a Frisian looks like. I know I have horses somewhere. It's no fair. Like, look at how glitched this horse is. I just, I can't do it. I almost can't do it because it's like, it's so sad. And like, I spent so much money on this game. It's ridiculous. Like, honestly, like, it's no fair, man. Like, how could you not get your shit together? Like, 200 people. 10 years well they didn't have 200 people for 10 years but you get the vibe like 10 years of game development and this game is riddled with problems everywhere everywhere i don't understand man i don't get it like how could you just not vibe you know like okay here's here's tj right so that's this is the new tj i don't really vibe with him but he does look like the TJ I knew in real life, which, funny story, I met this horse named TJ. I always called him TJ. TJ is the horse that I ride. Like, two years later, I go back to the stable to see TJ, and all of a sudden, his name is Mac. I'm like, his name isn't Mac? Who called him Mac? Why is his name Mac? And then everyone's like, oh yeah, his name's Mac. I'm like, what? His name's TJ. Everyone's like, no, no. His name has always been Mac. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, since when? <laughs> anyway, so... The old model I used to use for him was... This one. And he's my favorite. Oh god, I forgot he's glitched too. Isn't that sad? The Lipizzaners are my favorite breed too. And I can't even, like, use them in the game because they're so bugged. They, you know what, here's the thing. I don't want Star Stable to keep making so many horses every single month, you know? But if they are to update any breed, it better be the Lipizzan. Here's the thing. They failed the Frisian horse. They failed it. Completely failed it because of the nose they, keep, they put on it. The nose on the Frisian horse is messed up. But who has a Frisian horse nose? The Lipizzaners do. They could redeem themselves if they made an update at Lipizzaner and just gave it that nose, the same nose. Here's the thing. These look perfect. 
nothing's wrong with these horses. If they just updated the files and were we were able to use them for the Gen 3 tack, everything would be good. I don't know if it's Gen 3 or Gen 4. Either way, man, like, they could fix it and they don't do it. They're so, like, infuriating. Like, here's the thing. Everyone's like, oh, well, Star Stable don't make that much money. Like, bro, they made 44 million last year. 44 million from horses. Mostly, I'm pretty sure. Because, like, yeah, Star Rider is a thing. But Star Rider, I think, is relatively cheaper than horses, right? Because, like, Star Coins could cost more. And plus, they sell more horses, I'm pretty sure. It's a horse game. So you market it on horses. That's just how it goes. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Because, like, it's a horse game. Buy horses. Which is fine. It's just they don't do it properly. And there's people who could comment and say, well, if you think you know better, then make your own horse game. And it's like, why should I have to make my own horse game when the horse game we have could just fix itself? Why can't they just do it better? Why can't they fix it? Because they have so many people. Here's the thing too. Star Table has between 10 million to 40 million players and a little more than half a million even log on. How could you have 10 million to 40 million players and you can't even get more than a small percentage to log on. It just don't add up, man. It don't add up. I know who I could sell. I guess I could get rid of Minty. Well, I don't want to get rid of Minty. Minty's so cute. This game makes me sad. I love this game. It's just... It's depressing. I guess I could get rid of the Lipizaners. I don't know. I might keep them for a while just to... Because if they do release Lipizaner horses, I'm be the first bitch to even review that shit, okay? Autumn Escape. Okay, I guess we'll get rid of him. I don't want to do it. How many Star Coins do I have? Not Star Coins. What's it called? Your, uh... Inventory. Yeah, I guess I'll just get rid of him. And, like, you only get 2,500 star coins for horses that are worth between 600 to 900 star coins. I think it used to be lower. I think it used to be 1,500 Jorvik shillings. That's so stupid. Like, what even, Star Stable? Really? I think that's all I'll sell for now. It's just no fair, and I, I don't know. I want them to make horses. I want them to add horses to the game. It's just if they change the system, then they could do it right. If they listen to their players, then they could do it right. If they added actual content, if they fix their management, if they fix the systems they've scheduled by, if they did a, you know, like, it's just, um, it's just sad. Like, it's no fair how, like, in a matter of time, this game will probably fall apart. Like, with the way the game glitches for a lot of people, I'm surprised that there's even people who could log on at this point. There's times where I can't even log on because, like, I think, oh, it's the Wi-Fi. But then it's like, no, the game just doesn't want to launch. Like, I have to sometimes click on the launcher so many times to even get it to open. Like, it's so stupid. It's no fair. And people will always get offended if you critique something they love. But I love it too. Like, I'm not making the video because I don't like the game. Like, if I didn't like the game, I wouldn't play it. Like, what the hell? Why would I play a game I don't like? Things are so weird. I don't know. I guess I'll finish the video. Okay. Bye!